Hello, welcome back to the Star Wars Legion Hello. Hobby Weekend. I'm joined by Mr. Tall Jerry. Hello. That's better. I feel much better now. Apparently, apparently I can even be picked up by light if I'm at this height. Yes, watch this. Yeah. Like, raise your head way up. Oh, it gets duller as he goes up yeah. into the stratosphere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, have, things are heating up. Things are heating up. Yeah. People are getting closer to having their models and stuff finished. Some people have got an mm. excessive amount of painting done on their models. Some people have very little painting done on their models. Uh, I have glued. Look at this. To be fair, they're not even my models. Oh, they're not your models. I was told models all 50 shades of them. Yeah. Well, no, those are the studio models. <laughs> after, after playing the last game and I discovered that we had painted quite a lot of Stormtroopers and no Rebels, I yeah. thought I really need to paint the rest of the Rebels for the studio. Oh. My own stuff is still sitting two years later, still in the box. Right. You know, I'll get there. Well, coming up shortly, we're going to have John in the studio painting his uh, Y-Wing. Not Y-Wing, U-Wing. U-Wing. Is he going to wing it, do you think? Like Bobby Ewing. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be all Dallas. But be before amazing. we do that, let's catch up with the guys back here. Who's painting what and who Jonathan does, because he's come all the way from America. All the way from America yeah. to be serenaded. Where's my button? I, that Where's deserves some button? music. Ants <laughs> Jedi is full force. <laughs> Wait, I haven't got to the end. <laughs> it's, it's not right what you're doing. It's gonna say, send help, send help. <laughs> there we go, bit of crazy oh frog. Boy. Get us up and running. What are you working on? Uh, working on my B1s right now. Uh, I've managed to get one squad done, based, uh, leaders all up nicely and now working on the second one sweet i can't wait to see these guys up and running because i was thinking of doing the droids and then someone told me the droids come in like 50, 50 billion, billion pieces. pieces the heads are two pieces come it's, on. it's crazy turn around we chit chat okay. That's on the, back of your head. the world oh. say yes. hello the the lovely heads on these are two pieces yeah for some insane reason the backpack is separate, the arms, uh, one of the arms holds Get some close-up here. And uh, the legs, and they're not... I think we're... I think nobody can hear me. Oh! first day <laughs> apparently we're having technical issues I'm controlling it now. but it's all right control the horizontal and the vertical, and the vertical. we've put one on the camera because justin when he touches technology it turns to shit it just breaks <laughs> it just goes right there's a phrase for it let's see if we can and wander on jerry come on over this way paul what you been up to mate uh, i've wonder. been trying to get the stormtroopers done uh there's an awful lot of white there's a lot of white i, I don't on. i don't enjoy painting white but they look good eventually you get the white done, and then you pick out the little little black bits, and then it looks quite good. Sweet. I'm looking forward to yeah. seeing how these turn out. Oh. Yeah. This thing here. Paul, you're going to paint this? Yes, I don't know what color I'm going to paint that. Oh, I'd love to see that painted before the end of the weekend. Is that it's just an R4 droid, or what one's that? I'm being informed it's an R4. R4. Never studied. The R4 is the Warren's off camera shouting. Shouting at Alice. That's the R4 there, and then that's the medical droid thing. Oh. That's the technical term. Yeah. Spider butt of doom, apparently. I'm going to wheel over here this way, Paul. Looking forward to that, mate. Oh, do you want a jab too? There you go. No, Look. No, I don't want your petty jabs. That's you jabbed. Petty Bob. jabs. Oh, yeah. What are you painting, man? As I just oh, destroy you. I'm finishing my. Starting on my tank, which oh, man. really worked well last night. Is this. I oh, no, that's not how I'm going to hold that. Let me find somewhere else to put this. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Is this dry enough to pick up? Yeah, you can pick it on the on the, the, the grey bits, yeah. Oh, the grey bits? Yeah. Right, Bob, spin yourself around and show off your work. Okay. This was actually first started with contrast bikes, which didn't really work too well. So I then dry brushed it and then did my famous dry brush camouflage. Uh, rather than trying to go in heavy with the camouflage, I just dry brushed it to break the... the um, yeah. Uh, the, the, the bit of the mess that the contrast paint has made. Do you know what? I think you're right, because I did see your tank earlier and I thought, it does look a bit strange with those contrast paints, but I think what you've done to it now is a great save. Yeah, I, I think it was a bit of a rescue. I suddenly made my own um, grey yeah. and just kept dropping the top in the town down, so I'm getting lighter and lighter, and it seems to have broke it up. 
Sweet, I love the shading and stuff, and all the camouflage lines well, and things the, are working. Where, where the bits where the, it still hadn't gone was patchy, I decided to that, then use the sand camouflage to cover it up. Very nice. Um, Bob, you've got some cracking looking troopers over here. Yeah. I've been eyeing these up most of the weekend. <laughs> Look at these things. Yeah. Let me grab one. Hold I'm, on. really I'm really pleased with those. They've really come out well. There we but go. That's contrast paints in the opposite. They work at this time. Can we see this? Work to the opposite effect. Look at that. Your contrast paints work to treat on these. And you see your little extra lines and stuff. Yeah, I Just I a few extra details have really made these well, pop. Yesterday I actually did, though, and then realized that I hadn't, wasn't really sure how they look. So last night I had downloaded a photograph of them off, 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 you, off Google. Yeah. And then amended them to, to match. Sweet. What's going on with the bases? What are you trying to represent with the two tones? It's basically, um, I've only got a certain amount of, the, of this stuff um, yeah. to go. But I've actually got three bags of the stuff in the hotel, but I forgot to bring it with me. <laughs> so tomorrow I'm going to actually build it up even more. And it's going to represent the Scarif jungle. So you've got a bit of tarmac yeah. as they're going down the side. I mean, it's the, the way I'm going to make up the jungle terrain as if they're coming out of the jungle to engage the, the rebels. Sweet. One foot on the shore, one foot paddling in the water. That's how you know it's a shore trooper. Rocking the shore troopers. Let's see. Let's come on over. Someone's working on their Darth. How's your Darth coming on? The shoes are coming on particularly nicely. <laughs> I love these. Show them the camera. Don't show me. Look at his pink shoes. Oh, shoes. Darth never pink looked shoes. so classy. This is, this, is ca this is casual Darth. <laughs> Watching a bit of TV. Got his slippers on. Darth Vera. Um, Darth Vera. <laughs> Very nice. Have you recovered from our lightsaber battle earlier when everyone declared me the winner? Who declared you the winner? Everyone here. They all thought my lightsaber was the coolest. Mine was bigger, though. Yeah, it doesn't play that music. Size, that. size matters. Yours might be bigger, but mine's more fun. And I've got two. <laughs> well, you know, what can you do? I could tell you about that. Can you edge over this way? Can you get closer? Yeah, I, I, I can just about squeeze through. Did you ever tell them, Lloyd, about the time that you went into the forests in uh, Oregon hunting for Bigfoot? <laughs> and uh, you saw this big hairy beast. You said, hello, Bigfoot. And he turned around and said, hello, little dick. <laughs> I don't know about that. Don't. <laughs> Can't really argue that. Right. Oh, no, 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 don't mind me. Okay. I'm being informed to not touch these bases because they're still drying. Okay. Yeah. Right. Can I can I pick one up at the corner or something? Ooh, I see right. really Check these out. Uh, we have some vlog videos and stuff of this over over on the boot camp. Oh, we're on the boot camp live vlog. Sorry, hobby weekend. Can you see it? Yeah. So were these rolled out? Yes, milliput oh, rolled yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, Wait, have you got a stamp for this? or? Uh, yeah, so I've been using the green stuff rollers, which I bought from on tabletop. Oh, store dot on. Merch again. Plug it. Buy merch. Bet all the merch. Literally <laughs> everything. Somebody all of the things. Store on tabletop dot com. Oh, yeah. Go buy. Um, yeah. These are looking sweet. And it's worked out quite well. Um... I've been mixing it down with a bit of plasticine, but I do a one third, two thirds ratio, so milliput two thirds, because otherwise it becomes a bit soft. Yeah. Uh, whereas um, that one's been working Does out a lot better. Plasticine make it hard. Uh, no, Does no, it makes it softer. Oh, it makes it softer. Plasticine so it makes it, it softer. It, it um, gives you a bit more playing around time, and also uh, just bulks it out, so you get more for your buck. Cool. Well, if you want to know more about that, come on over and check the live blogs out. We have videos of start to finish, I believe. We do. Oh, yeah, yeah. yes. And more droids. Loads of droids. So many droids that oh. I never want to see droids again. This guy's the king of droids. Um, yeah. The, the painting is actually going quite well and easily. So you take a bit of sand dust as a spray. Yeah. And then uh, paint silver on the guns. So bolt gun muttle or yes. something like that. Yes, bolt gun metal. Cool. Put any old color on it that you want. And then... Wash it with Agrax. Oh man, these are the types of droids I'm looking for. Which is just like, <laughs> these are just amazing. You're so pleased. How can I squeeze oh, it in? How can I squeeze it in? Let's venture back this weak. way. Please try the fish. Oh, hold on, I'll free you. There we go. Look at these. Just you go over there and film back this way. Oh, wait till you see this stuff when we get the camera in place. Oh my goodness, you're making a class job of this. This we have covered in the live blog as well, I believe. 
Yeah, I've been um, I've been playing with the airbrush today with a bit of tuition from John. Um, so uh, this is the downed ATST Walker expansion scenery piece. Um, so I built that yesterday, uh, and then John uh, showed me a bit of airbrushing technique today. So I've I've airbrushed this today, and I've airbrushed uh, a standard ATST Walker today as well, um, <coughs> just to get the grades and the highlights and the low lights. And I'm just in the process of filling in the base. And this is like one of my all of all of my army have got has got this kind of basing. So yes. I'm just kind of going for the same technique, which is well, see that's the the base for the big walker, which I need to yeah. uh, glue him back to. Um, but yeah, I do. I'm doing my red. I'm doing my my rocks and stones in this um, German pal from Vallejo. So he's got a few little stones on there. Hold on, let me hold that up. See if we can <coughs> yeah. I'll give this a quick twirl. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> see the ATSD. <laughs> it went down like an Ewok hit it. <laughs> With two trees. Looking sweet. I noticed yeah. these yesterday. It's basically just these little pebbles, but I paint them that red colour. And then um, the paint I'm using just matches this primer that I use on my bases. And then it's just the uh, Armageddon dust from GW. So that kind of goes over the top for the texture. This has got texture on it already, which. <clears throat> just makes it really difficult to paint, to be honest, because you've got to like <laughs> jam the paint in there. Um, but I figured I'd give it a base of uh, of this beige first, and then I might go with a bit of texture here and there just to match in any sort of 3D bits. But hopefully once that's done, it'll cool. the grey will pop out. You're going to go with the tufts and everything again? Uh, yeah, I've got some tufts with me, so there'll be some tufts. It's kind are of three... Are they Army Painter tufts or somewhere else? I think they're GW as well, actually. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I, I was just... But they're all... Much for much, just aren't they? There's lots of there's lots of tough there's lots <laughs> of tough on the market. Once you've seen They're one tough, you've, you've seen, seen them all. all. <laughs> right, right. Well, Ed's over somewhere else. Are you trying to go? Oh, the cameraman's trying to go further than he can get with his wire. Oh, I free. I fr look, look at that. I freed your wire for you. I didn't realise I could stretch all this way. Right, what? come on over here. These brothers are closer than we Ooh. thought. <laughs> Ooh, what are you working on? Uh, speed painting rebels. That's what I'm trying to do. So these are uh, doing tauntons now. Done the um, they're the uh, veterans unit. Yeah. Just done. Obviously not quite snow colours. Oh, I thought they smelt bad on the outside. There you go. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. It's Got to try and get them in for goodness' sake. Really not well, I have a bad summer, feeling about this. Is, is this your basing thing? That's my that's my Jerry style basing. Just everything in a pot, then dip it in. Cool. Can't wait to see these guys up and done. You had a game yesterday against did, these guys. We did, yes, yes. So you're gonna have a rematch later. We are gonna rematch. Yeah, because the uh, the Wookiees won yesterday, and he's not happy about it. Oh well, you have to let the Wookiees win. Yeah. I'm on a roll. Well, right, and make sure, make sure that you don't let those tauntons overheat. Okay, you got to keep them lukewarm. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lukewarm. That's a good one. Right. Justin, I believe we're about ready to hand over to John in the studio who's going to be painting his U-Wing. Jerry, you excited yes. to see John's U-Wing? No? I, I think it's amazing, yeah. I can't wait to see what he does with it. Right. We'll What's see you in a bit. Bye. I can go now. Okay. Hello, everybody. Uh, I am John. I know I've been disappeared, disappeared for a while, uh, but I'm here now uh, to do a little bit of weathering and a little bit of playing around on this U-wing. I do apologize straight away if I'm going to be a little bit quiet because I've got one mic here and I have two over over there, and uh, yeah, they might pick me up while I'm working on this thing. Let me show you this thing. 
Uh, is that it? I'm not having the switcher. Someone needs to give me control of the switcher, which is great. <laughs> have I cut? Can I can I switch now? Cut now. All right. I couldn't see before. It was like, there it is. Thank you. Oh dear. Right. Apparently, I have all the errors today as well. So this is the U wing we're going to be playing with. Uh, obviously, a rather large toy, but a pretty cool looking one, right? And before I started streaming, there was um, a bit of a big curve on this uh, wing thing here, this foldy wing. Uh, but I hit it with the heat gun, heat it up a little bit until it became soft. It's a bit weird because the toy plastic doesn't tend to melt so much. It tends to get quite sticky and soft. And I was able to sort of bend it a bit more into its proper shape. This other one, though, I don't really care about. It's got a tweak up here on the wing, and I'm just going to... Leave it as it is, because why not? So, it's kind of cool because it actually does open up, which is nice. <laughs> right, we're going to start weathering this thing. Because we want it to be... Let's see if I can come back to my face. Thank you very much. Uh, we want it to be a, a nice piece of terrain for our tables. Uh, as you've seen before on the run-up to uh, the weekend... Uh, I've worked on the Juggernaut, and before you've seen stuff like the AT-ATs and uh, a couple other bits and bobs that I've weathered up, like the Millennium Falcon out there on the um, Luke Skywalker Island table. Uh, so, first thing we did, uh, I'll go back to my close, uh, we coated the whole thing in satin varnish, which is this stuff, that's the Aegis suit. Now, any matte varnish can be done. Uh... Ah, uh, tea, tea, tea laughs on. Nice to see you, dude. Uh, so we covered it in satin varnish. That just gives the plastic a bit of a texture uh, so that whatever we do to it next will actually stick to the plastic. And it'll actually stick to it and not bead and run off it. Like a lot of the, um, the toy plastics do. Uh, they have a very tough outer coat, which is sort of like kind of water resistant, stain resistant, easy clean. So... Let's see if I can go and remember which button it is. There we go. So, from here, we have a nice clean model, and we're going to weather it and dirty it up a bit. What I want to start with, I think, is the panel lining. So, we're going to be using an airbrush, which is great because I get to sully this lovely big mat that we have here. So, I actually get to put the first paint drops down on it because I don't see anything else. Warren's going to kill me, but that's fine. <laughs> What's different from any other day? And what I want to try first is using a bit of uh, Army Painter Matte Black, and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of Army Painter's uh, Dark Tone Wash. This stuff, because I don't want it to be a pure... <laughs> Spare John from the Turbine Jokes, thank you! Uh, mix it with this, because I don't want it to be just a pure black paint I'm spraying down. I want it to have a bit more uh, stain-ish sort of, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna put some of it into the airbrush and we're gonna see what happens. And we wanna do panel lining and stuff with this first. Don't spray. What? Time bar, don't spray. Don't spray? I've been told not to spray. I'm not allowed to spray. Why am I not allowed <laughs> to spray? What are you doing? I was watching your stream. You think you were gonna get away with spraying our new, nice new mat all sorts of colors? Yes, I, no, that was the aim. No, we're gonna get you a nice dirty one. Oh, uh, shame. No, it's just gonna be a <laughs> mat. Big one, big dirty one. All right, Jono, since you're here, I'll just pass to you. Okay. <laughs> this is how you fill air time. <laughs> Wait for the end, John. <laughs> oh, been a crazy frog. You loving that on, huh? No. <laughs> right on. That's terrible, so I get to remove this. Then. Yeah, you're going to take that nice new... No, no, we could probably put it over the top, rather than trying to move it. Yeah, okay, so here comes a worse one. Oh, here we go. Go on. Everyone happy? Just, yes. get, just get no fun. Make sure you keep the army painter mat pristine, man, because it's beautiful. We have isopropyl alcohol to clean it with. <laughs> I get out of my show. Oh, get out of my segment. 
one thing I get to do in here. The one thing I get to do. Anyway. This is my life now. <laughs> I don't know where to put stuff now that I've dirtied it, because it's just... All right, dark tone. We're still adding dark tone, by the way. All right, let's give our airbrush a good little shake up. Go with our close. Look at that, that's a terrible looking mat now. It's awful. Right, well, let me test my, my flow here, so. Well, it would, be, it would be good to test my flow. Um, had I switched the compressor on. <laughs> ah, I haven't switched the compressor on. Compressor's on. <sighs> okay. Let's try that again, shall we? So, back back to close. Try the flow out. Yep, that's not bad looking. I'm happy enough to run with that. So, let's start on the wings then, shall we? Let's get a wing in. So what I'm doing is just picking out some of the, the panel lines, some of the more interesting panel lines, and uh, just weathering them, just getting that black paint, that black wash mix in. This is going to add some shading as well, which is going to make it quite an interesting looking aircraft once we have it all sort of scrubbed and weathered back down again. It also gives me a chance to darken down some of the, there's two nose guns here. It lets me darken them down and sort of weather in around them. on going here and um, you see I'm not being terribly accurate with it that's because a I've had a lot of sugar today and B it doesn't really matter so much <laughs> I'm also going to do a little bit of streaking off the nose here because actually looks kind of cool it's all going to add to these layers of uh, different bits and bobs that's happening on this this machine.
I think I'm back. I think I'm back. Yes, I am. Um, although the screen is flicking on and off, so the screen's constantly flicking on and off. So we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, let's uh, let's try again. So. There. There is me. I wonder why it's doing this. Anyway, we'll keep an eye on it. We might have to do a shutdown and then come back into it. Just to see. Oh, dudes! So if your screen has paused, paused for a while, we know about it. So there's a fault over on, on this side. Um, but we will try our best to to fix that so yeah yeah it's just working fine at the moment man it's, it's just every time i'm on screen it just just loves the just loves the jedi look i've been going for man do you, you want to finish this off then no man no i don't want to show you up or anything john you know i was like um there, there it may be very jury rigged but i think it's the cable sitting uh -huh. So I've propped it up with a spray can. All right. Happy days. <laughs> if that well, works, that yeah, works. Well, if a spray can works, that's, uh, that's awesome. I'm going to go and have an egg sandwich, John. You enjoy your egg sandwich. I will, man. <laughs> okay. okay. Let's try again. Uh, back, back to our craft. Sorry if there is, like, some... Uh, sound delays and stuff, Tuffy. It's it, it's not really much I can sort, unfortunately. Anyway, let's eventually get back to this and eventually even finish it. Who knows? Hello, Lozzy. Lozzy, for those that um, for those that don't know, is the best woman in the world. Anyway, back to it. <laughs> so yeah, I know we're making this look like a complete and utter turd at the minute. Let's, let's not mince our words here. It looks a bit like a turd. And I do hope um, you stick with me long enough to find out how it can not be a turd.
Okay. How long have I been painting miniatures for? I guess, technically, uh, I'm going to say seven, eight years, kind of seriously, which doesn't necessarily mean anything because, you know, I'm still not that good. Don't know if this needs to be darkened, but it's going to be darkened. So let's just see how far we want to take all this. Let's go over the engine pods next. And yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna keep this quite rough and ready, to be honest. Try and um, just see how far we can get with it. So all I'm doing here is just darkening uh, the outlets for the engines. We'll probably not touch the inlets too much because they're they would look kind of clean anyway. I think so. Yeah, I think they're just going to stay a bit cleaner. Let's work over onto the other side here. Uh, Irish Steve, I'm using a, uh, what, what would you call it, a 60-40 mix of army paint or black, matte, matte black paint mixed with um, the dark tone wash. That's, that's the mix I'm going with. There's no thinner or anything in it. Keep remembering that you know there's as big a camera shot as this is. I'm still drifting out of it. Okay, I think that's enough for the top part of the ship, anyway. Um, let's have a look underneath it and see if there's much detail that we can catch. This is where this model really lets itself down. It is very toyetic underneath it. It is very full of screwdriver screw holes and this daft thing here, which I assume is a handle for kids to hold it with, and you know, all this sort of daft stuff. So there's not a lot of us, not a lot to work with underneath it, but hey. We'll do it anyway and see what happens. We'll give it more a uh, just I don't know, we'll just we'll just give it some basic shading underneath. Let's not go go to town underneath it. Let's keep it simple. So if you're down, if you have this on a gaming table and you're down at eye level, there is something going on underneath it. It's 
was once a toy. It is still a toy, kind of. So, I think that'll do for panel lining, because I kind of like how that is already making it look a bit more gritty and a bit more messed up. So, I'm going to take a couple of seconds here just to empty um, my airbrush and get it, give it a bit of a rinse. Although, I can't foresee me needing it too much more after that. So... I'm just going to keep the camera on this, because you don't need to see my face, to be honest. Okay, there's maybe one or two people in the, the viewing audience that want to see my face. That doesn't matter. <laughs> In fact, I can just sit here and just backflow this a little bit. I'm back. I'm back again. <laughs> I'm back again. I haven't been kidnapped. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, back to what I was saying before we froze again. Uh, I loved tearing apart that 8080. Amazing. Probably one of the most fun projects I've had in here. And there's been quite a few to contest with that. So. Right, that's the airbrush sort of rinsed out to where I need it to be. Let's go back to our close. Yep, our close is still working. We're gonna be taking, at this stage now, I'm gonna, if you've watched, if you've watched the, um, how we did the Juggernaut uh, in the, the vlog running up to this weekend, you'll know that after I do a couple more steps, I then take a scouring pad to it. I'm gonna take the scouring pad to it now, in this case, to try and feather up and scratch up some of this darkening that I've done. So, why is that flower not painted pink? Ah, oh. Sun Dancer, now you've set off my girlfriend as well. Great, thank you. <laughs> so we're gonna take the scarring pad to it now and see what this does to the likes of the, or the, the dark areas. Let's see if that scratches us back a bit. And it does, perfect. And what this does is add that little bit of a texture and remove some of the airbrushing. So it's removing a lot of the overspray and leaving us with like a gritty, dirty line in the panel lines. So 
So we'll get this wing done, then we can see a side-by-side -side comparison of them. It is very disturbing when I turn it around that the other wing swings out like it's a scythe. I haven't been watching Mandalorian. I don't think even Mandalorian's available in the UK yet, is it? All right, let's have a look at the side-by-sides then on the wings. So you can see how much more faded and much more believable and realistic this is compared to this side. You know, this side's obviously a bad airbrush job. It's a rush airbrush job, but on this side, you can see how much more that scuffing has done to make this look a lot more normal, I guess. It's available kinda, I know it's available kinda. <laughs> so, with that shown and working, let's just go ahead and do the rest of it now. To be honest, when I was doing the Juggernaut before the weekend, I actually kind of wanted to try this approach first, but I didn't feel confident enough to try it. And now that I'm on live stream with people, I thought I would try it. And it's it's really only something you get to do with something like a toy, because the toys, the, pl the plastic's a bit more resilient you get to be a bit more rough with it and you can muck around with different things just to see the effect that it has. And I think the effect so far is actually pretty decent. I'm almost tempted just to leave it like this. Just do this step and just leave it alone. But I, I know that Warren will not be happy with that. He'd be like, you really, really copped out on that. I'm like, yeah, I kind of phoned it in, didn't I? So what we'll do after the stream, if we can actually get this uh, vehicle finished, we'll get some photography up and put a, hopefully put a post up showing the, the end result with a bit more detail. Again, I'm really digging how this is coming out. You can see I've still left this other wing uh, untouched with the, the scarring pad, but the rest of it is actually coming together really nice. So, Not that any of you care, because currently you're all talking about painting stuff pink in the chat. Yes, I know. I'm watching you.
<laughs> I'm not doing a Hello Kitty Gundam, thank you very much. All right, let's get this last wing done. And then we can quickly flip the thing over and do the underside. And then we can get onto some model mates. You know, you people in chat, you're terrible. You're absolutely terrible. You're causing me future grief here, guys. <laughs> so I don't really want to do too much underneath it because it's more a case of just making it look a bit more scuffy a bit more scuffed up and a bit more worn yeah you're great but when you get an idea in your head Okay, that is more or less the main stages, uh, or the main stage of the weathering process. So I'm going to work on our next one, which is using some model mates. And for our model mates, we are picking oil brown and mud brown. Nothing too fancy. No, I'm not gonna fight you. Uh, so, let me see here. All we really want to do is just add a few dirty patches. So let's just give it a spray and see how that goes. Nothing serious, just a few patches here and there. Then we're going to take this large brush, dampen it with a bit of water, and go mad. Do it a bit more. Take the brush, give the brush a bit more water to work with. A bit more than that, apparently. And what this is doing is because the Model Mates is a water-based dye, if you don't know what it is, it's, it's now called Dirty Down. It's now sold as Dirty Down. It's a water-based dye that um, when you spray it down from the aerosol and you reactivate it with water, you can move it around and it gives this gorgeous, subtle staining effect, depending on how heavy you go with it, obviously. And I've always noticed that in Star Wars uh, movies and games and stuff like that, anything that's this sort of color, this off white gray, always seems to have like a brown, yellowy uh, staining to it. And I think that A, the model department in LucasArts, really loves uh, dirty down <laughs> oil brown aerosol. And that it also sets a certain, a particular tone for these vehicles. You know, none of them look pristine, none of them look brand new. They've all been around a while. And you know, it just, it adds that lovely little bit of aging. And because we know roughly what sort of colors that the, the studio ages them with, we can make something as simple as a toy that we've got off eBay, look and have that same sort of feel and that same sort of aesthetic, just beyond the actual shape of the, of the, the toy or the model we actually get that grittiness starting to build up. Yeah. 
And when it's on a gaming table, it's not going to look like a toy anymore. It will look like this is a U-Wing. This is whatever it is. I know this from blah blah movie or blah blah cartoon series. So that's not too bad. I think what I will do though is I'll take the oil brown and while this is all still damp, we'll just give it a bit of oil brown along this mechanical area here. And while the brush has still got a bit of dampness on it, we'll just scrub it in a bit. Now that didn't add too much, but it just gives us a different colour uh, to play with as well. Get the wings out a bit. Let's get some of it in there too. Okay. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Um, Let's see if we can add or do maybe a, a few other little things. I'm going to take this. I don't know what this is going to do. It's a little sponge thing. And I'm, I'm wondering if I can get some actual panel streaking going on from it. Try and draw the textures back a bit, which it is doing. Again, after the stream, we'll, we'll get some images, some close-up images of this and show you how the effects have turned out. Although hopefully you can see well enough at the minute. Okay, so that's not too bad. I wonder if I have the focus set on the camera, so hopefully if I rotate it a bit and it's not shiny as much, hopefully you guys approve of that because I think that's pretty decent. So let's flip it over and work on our brighter underside. And you can see the difference straight away from just the airbrush to the airbrush in the model mates. There's, there's something heavier about this, something that looks really interesting. So, I'm genuinely not paying attention to some of you guys in there. Sundancer, I'm watching you. <laughs> right, let's do it again. Let's get some of our model mates down onto the belly, but we're going to focus it on this piece that is lower to the ground, ground where the, um, the landing gear is. And we'll go quite heavy on that for reasons just because I feel like it. So it adds another layer of texture to the vehicle. And again, with our damp brush. So we're almost finished. Just adding a bit more dirt to the underside of the engine pods here. Now that I can see them a bit more clearly. Oh boy.
not too worried about the underside of the wings. We just want to dirty them up a little bit. Right. Flip you back over. And there you have it, guys. One weathered toy that is now a piece of terrain for your Star Wars Legion tables. So, uh, let me see here. i cut to this camera. Hello. Uh, I know it's been a bit buggy, uh, but I, I do hope you enjoyed it. And uh, that's not bad for... I don't know how long we actually managed to work on this for. I think about 40, 45 minutes or so. And that's a pretty decent result, I think. I'm quite happy with it. And if you can see underneath as well, you can see how it's more weathered uh, around the actual belly. Gets a little bit cleaner on the sides, and then we have that on the top as well. So I'm quite happy with it. I hope you guys are too. Uh, what toy is this? What range is it? I think it still has all its markings underneath. Uh, it's Hasbro, uh, Hasbro 2016, so I don't know what range that would particularly be, but you can certainly have a look. Um, <laughs> you're back. I'm in to see. Warren is back. I will, I will get out of the chair and no, let no, you... No, no, you don't need to get oh, out of the chair, okay. man. I will, I will bring my own damn chair. <laughs> <laughs> right. I have a chair. Okay. Oh, you have I a chair. How it went. You have your hat. Because you can teach me a thing or two as well. All right. I'll... Oh. Move over. <laughs> Let the big guy in. Oh, nice. Happy with that? Yes. So, let's see. Enjoy. I have some things that you could do to it, and you can show me how it's done. Right. I'd like to see the engine pods actually kind of almost like blacked right there let's see if we can do you want the switch to that yeah so in the actual engine pods i wonder if we can make the engine pods look a bit more like they've actually been used you know been sucking fire and flame and stuff through them so i'm wondering if him if with your airbrushing uberness we could black the fronts and backs of it and just make it look more okay. like those engine pods have been used and how you would go about doing that. Right. No problem. Uh, we'll go back to our matte black paint. Uh -huh. We're going to stick some in the airbrush. Ooh. Just a few drops of it. Uh -huh. This this is actually the same thing that we did in the opening. Uh, the, the very first step we did. So... And some dark tone wash. Oh, have I got enough room to play here? Do you need me to move out of your way? Oh, no, 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 I don't think so. Can don't anybody th hear me tapping on this? Or is that this, one's muted. This, this mic's muted. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm going to unmute this mic so that I can <laughs> talk and annoy people while I'm at it. <laughs> All right, so we have the mix from before. I like top-down cameras. I want top-down cameras more often. Hello, hello, viewers. Can anybody hear me? I've got my own microphone now. <laughs> oh yeah. How how dark do you want this? Well, <sighs> I want it to look like real life, John. <laughs> well, then, then we should leave it clean. Why? Because air going through an engine doesn't blacken it. Yes, but black air going through a, a white engine will blacken it. In space? In It goes in through the atmosphere too, remember? Yeah, but unless you're flying through a burning city every day. Well, it flies through battle. <laughs> so, it flies through battle. I suppose what uh, my, main, my main thing is that anywhere where there's a bit that still looks like a toy... Yeah, you try to you try to cover it up in some way to remove the the toy and bring out the model. They can't hear you apparently. They can't hear me. 
Well, someone can hear. Well, <laughs> okay, some are saying yes and some are saying no. Okay, it, 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 I'm going to tap my mic and let me know if you hear it tapping. I mean, you are unmuted. Like, Hang on a sec. Oh, I should be able to hear me by putting on some headphones. Testing, testing. Yeah, you should be able to hear me okay. Yep. Up and again. Yeah. See, this is yeah. I, I suppose you know that that whole thing of trying to make it less toy-like and also to give you specific spots for your 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 eyes kind of to be drawn to. Yeah. While you're at it, mm -hmm. can you open the cockpit, or is it glued on this? I was going to glue it. Do you want to spray? Do you want to take off that bit and spray the inside of it so as you can no longer see into the cockpit? Do we want to, though? Or do we want to keep it as there's a, a hint of transparency there? Well, that's, if you just do a I very I... light coat of the black on the inside? Well, that's why I scarred over the, the top as well, so it still had transparency, but it wasn't... You couldn't see through and go, oh, that's just a toy inside. Yeah, there. okay. Do you know what we could do? It could darken the inside of it a bit. Yeah, yeah. That's a possibility. Yeah, me likey this, John. This could be interesting. Yeah, that gives it yeah. a bit of darkness. You've got a little bit of overspill there. Oh, the overspill's not a problem. On that side there. There you go. That's cool. All right. Yep. Now, the front bit, mm -hmm. if you can hold it up. There's a vent there. I already hit that. Did you? Yes. Let's hit it again. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. And then at the back. Yeah, you want to do the outlets. Of the yes. Engines, yeah, anything that breathes. Let's give it a, a good chunk of black. Yep, we're good. We're back. <laughs> okay. So, Warren, Warren is, is is Warren coming back? Is Warren coming back? Yes, he is. Okay. 
No. Yeah, right. I wonder why it does that. It's weird, isn't it? Mm-hmm. All right, let's... Oh, nice, yeah. Oh, some of the deliberate streaking, John. That's very nice. Oh, if I could even work in a straight line today. Apparently I can't, though. Well, it's better than nothing. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, in run those front blasters. We, we have bent wings and bent blasters, John. Have we yeah, any ideas? Already, on... I've already talked about those at the start. How the would we straighten them? We can't. I've already hit this with a heat gun to the point where it's scalding hot. Uh -huh. And it doesn't do anything. Mm, may need a splint. It may need a splint, yep. I would be tempted to try and blacken the ends of these. Again, this is other stuff I did, but it's Have you already done it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it's been it's probably been removed as I've been scarring it with the, yeah. with the sponge. So. Nice. Okay. Right, let's um flip her over. Oh, were you gonna go at her with the with that scarring pad again, were yes. you? Oh, because we don't want the engines entirely black. Yeah. So this is going to pull it back a little bit. Yeah. I'm getting a lovely view of it at the moment. <laughs> it, it is quite amazing the difference. You know, that a relatively simple and straightforward paint job um, actually makes on something like this. That's what our engines have got up to now. So there's only a little bit of pulling, pulling it back, but yeah, you don't want to do it too much. I would like, I don't know about you, but I would like the underside of it to be dirtier. And the reason for that is... If we ever hung it up as a piece of terrain, the underside would become... Now, a lot of our stuff just sits on the ground. Yeah. But I noticed that Justin has, has a real thing now about hanging stuff up. So I'm wondering um, what we could do to the bottom to really kind of... I mean, you think that's not... I, th I think if there's a disparity between the wings and that, I think, you know, it, with it coming in and kicking up lots of sand and dust... Um, the wings would probably be a closer match to the underbelly. Mm, I disagree. But you disagree, yeah, yeah? I do. I don't think the wings would be as dirty as the belly. Yeah. Yeah, kicking up a bit more dust. Would we, um, we'll meet halfway then. We'll, we'll meet, meet halfway, halfway in the middle. <laughs> we'll, do, <laughs> we'll do a bit on both, you know? Yeah. I'm going to use this sponge brush again because I'm, I'm finding it quite handy on this Is it stuff. good, yeah? Yeah. Because as this model mates is drying it, you can streak with mm -hmm. it quite effectively. No, the wings don't like sand. <laughs> it's coarse and it's rough and it gets everywhere. Oh, this one time at band camp. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what Anakin should have been talking about. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? As it starts to dry... Yeah, but already that looks like a, a, a closer match. It doesn't yeah. have to be as heavy, but it's it doesn't have just quite the same disparity yeah. that it had before. It's a, I would it's a closer that blend. Down here, it's probably getting a lot more. Do you know what I would like you to do? And crap on it. Yeah. You see the back two engine pods uh -huh. with the with the landing gear. Yes. Bring them just the bottoms of them yep. to the same tone as the belly, because I would imagine that they yeah. would be dirty, dirty. Maybe a bit heavy on the model mates there, but... Heavy on the Miracle Whip, Harry. <laughs> It'll soon wipe off. 
That's what she said. <laughs> Sometimes I catch you out. You do, John. <laughs> I would be tempted to hit that with your brush. Let's just see what we can do with this. See if you can blend it a little bit. Yep. I think that's us back again. Yep, we're back again. That's all right. We're we going to have to try and get that sorted before XLBS tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well. No, are you? Yeah, 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 yeah you're okay. Yeah, we're here, we're I still here. see it. Just carry it over the tail of the end yeah. of the as well a bit. But that's closer to that. It is, yeah. Up mud, so yeah, let's hit it with a bit of mud. Because I have a feeling I actually used mud brown underneath. Yeah. And oil. <laughs> and that should either feather out or it will allow me to streak it out. Yeah. Very nice, John. Very nice. It's a bit more convincing. It is, isn't it? What do you think? Yeah, I, I, I quite like that. Mm, still not happy with the underside of the wings. Still too bright? No, no, no. Just drying a little patchy. Oh, yeah. I see you that. see that? Yep. That side's probably all right. Yeah. You may just need to reactivate the other side a little bit to get rid of the... Oh. Here we go. Yep. <laughs> yep, we missed a bit. <laughs> okay. We'll do that with oil. Because it sort of slots in. Yes. Now, if you can also use this to reactivate the previous layer. Yeah. So if you're finding that some of that is dry and splotchy, and you want to reactivate it so you can get your streakiness in, a tiny dusting of that will 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 fire it back up again. So 
a little bit tidy. Tide mark there. Yeah. Is it? Or is it is just it? the way the light's hitting it? It's not tide marking, no. I'll do the entire wing with it, John, because you're 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 hitting parts of it. Maybe it's just the way the light shine on it for me. Well all we do with that then is we take Just it blend out. it in. Yeah. And that side as well is doing the same. There. What do you think? Let's turn it over. <laughs> I'm still quite happy with it. I like it, John. Still I like very it. Happy with it. So let's is it that one? Yeah. Thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. Here, pass her over. Is it dry? Ish? Uh, yeah, more or less. Just don't touch the engines. There's a handle or something, isn't there? Yeah, there's something that folds out underneath it. I think... Do, does it do it with the wings? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Smack yourself in the face with it. Oh, it's like a big gun, actually, is what it is. Well, anyway, so that's it in its flight configuration. Which is kind of cool. If that was hanging up, you're coming in for yeah. a landing sequence. Yeah, I like this. I like it a lot. It comes into land. Smacks you in the face on the way down. That's much more model-esque, isn't it? Yeah. I would have no issues whatsoever placing that on the on the tabletop. Yeah. We may need to go in with a bit of glue or yeah, a screwdriver. Yeah, kind of a little bit of glue or a screwdriver here or there to tighten it up. Yeah. But you know, for a model it cost six or seven pounds, I think it was. Is that all you got that for? Yeah. yeah. You know, six or seven pounds. It didn't require painting from scratch. No. So you were able you're able to go into these things and just play weathering. Yeah. And I you know, I, I like it. I think sitting on, on a gaming table it's going to look spot on. Yeah. It's not bad. So. I mean, it's it's up to the same standard that um, the likes of our AT-80s and the Juggernaut is up to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can always take it further if you want. Well, if you were going to take it further, John, what would you do? Would you be adding um, more color to it? Or no. would you add chipping? Or I would do some chipping. I would do some silver metallic chipping along like the cockpit windows and along the leading edges of the wings and the nose. Probably take some metallic pigment and sort of buff these. This would area you do up. silver chipping or would you do a darker, I would a do darker chipping? I would do silver because we're already dark. Yeah. At this point, so if you had a bright silver, just picking out little well, we right do it. angles and stuff. All right now. <laughs> Wait, what, what time is it? Uh, we are nearly half five. Nearly half five. So we yeah. still thirty minutes of the stream left. No, it was four two five. Was it four two five? Yeah, it's four to six now, man. No, <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, that bit you can vlog. Yeah, we'll vlog that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So. Is it this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> that's us. Um, I think in the schedule now we have um, the Caesar's going to be doing a Star Wars themed dungeon design. Cool. So uh, stay tuned for that. Okay, guys. Yep. Um, Jono. Lovely stuff. I'm going to take it out and show it to some folk out there um, because there's a couple of folk out there that actually have this toy um, so we can see what they think. You can tell them that ours is better than theirs. Well, we'll <laughs> see. We'll see. Right. Cheers, dudes. We will see you later on. Yeah.